Hi, it's O from Zoe's Real Thoughts. Today I'm going to be reviewing Lee Daniels' The Butler. Lee Daniels' The Butler is loosely inspired by the real life story of Eugene Allen, a butler who served eight presidents from Tr Truman all the way to uh, Reagan for 34 years. The film stars Forrest Whitaker as Cecile Gaines, an unassuming man who has witnessed uh, film history up close and personal. Lee Daniels The Butler is probably yeah, the classic seen. Hollywood film in that it hits every mark to be considered Oscar bait. Example number one, an incredible ensemble. If you have basically everyone, Forrest Whitaker to Mariah Carey to uh, Terrence Howard to John Cusack who hasn't even acted in so long, Robin Williams, and of course, Oprah. I think when you have Oprah's name on the billboard or all the posters, it kind of solidifies at least a Oscar nomination, don't you think? And um, so you have this great cast. Um, number two. The film structure, story structure, kind of follows this Forrest Gump, where there, you know, Gaines is witnessing um, all of film, the biggest film uh, history events from, you know, the Civil War to the Civil Rights Movement to the Vietnam War, all the way to the Obama administration. So it kind of feels a lot like, you know, Forrest Gump and is, I have a lot of problems with it and um, I will elaborate that later. Example number three is the sweeping music. When something good happens, you have dramatic happy music. When something sad happens, you know, you have dun dun dun. I don't think that explains it very well, but I hope you understand. Uh, number four awesome costume design uh especially especially oprah's costume design oh my god it is incredible and spot on very to the era and um that orange suit that she wears is just like i can't even it's so her color it works and um yes so you know there's a lot of aspects to this film that make it a Hollywood film that will make it like you know a very Oscar bait film but um, I mean there's so many other like I said there's so many other things but these are the top four that I consider um, is a shoo-in for the Oscars so there is a sliver of artificial lining across the film and even as the film progresses it permeates more vigorously and is obviously more potent as we kind of witness these um, cardboard box cutouts of these african-american roles either it's black or white uh, pun intended like um, Cecil's character or Luis's character to see these both extreme uh, sides of a man being submissive yet strong uh, and then we have the angry violent you know black man and so this you know I don't like the vastly contrasting roles and but at the same time I like how they were juxtapositioned together to kind of see and kind of uh, give balance to the film to see the sides um, and I think that it's you know, it could have been explored a little bit more. It couldn't. It didn't have to be so like you're you're on this side and I'm on this side. But I think for story purposes, um, it is necessary. And they have these obvious emotional kind of cues where, you know, because of the Forrest Gump kind of storyline, it's so, you know, the storyline is so contrived. It forces you to almost be overly sympathetic because. Uh, these are true events and um, it just did not work for me especially when I'm forced to feel something um, and the story doesn't feel so real and when I say this film is loosely inspired by uh, Eugene Allen I mean very loose like the loosest thing ever like very loose um, as in Eugene Allen didn't even have two sons uh, didn't have a political activist son that is Lewis in the character in the film and um, but you know for story's sake it is very important that's why you know I don't take it so seriously yes it is um, based in you know history uh, but this is 
this is a story and it doesn't communicate it as well. Maybe it's because I already saw 12 Years a Slave and so this film is absolutely nothing compared to that film. Um, <laughs> but I will elaborate more on that later. And so even though we see these two sides, I think it is very necessary to the story. And you know, the emotional cues I did not like. Um, you know, I already feel sympathetic. I already, you know, uh, it's so sad that the real, uh, the real footages from, you know, the demonstrations, the civil rights demonstration was more, more heartfelt and more, you know, I've connected to that, to that more than the narrative. You know, I just, I was just completely not there. They were just putting these pieces together to kind of give you a rounded story like Forrest Gump and put you in this kind of place in history, but at the same time, I was just completely not in it. Um, but I do give uh, props to Oprah and Forrest Whitaker. I think their acting was incredible. Um, you know, incredible, but obviously they could have taken it to another level and they didn't besides Oprah I think Oprah went there and she probably will get nominated for an Oscar um, she's just she's just so freaking great I think even when Mariah Carey comes out I was just like no I'm not having this like I cannot look at Mariah Carey like this especially after all the stuff that she's gone through but because of Oprah I was fully invested in the story and she made me believe everything um, and you know what Lee Daniels wants an Oscar he's gonna get an Oscar for whatever at least costume design or you know Forrest Whitaker getting a nomination because it is very well deserved um, and it's such an interesting character and it was the first time I actually witnessed um, some sort of white privilege kind of taking in place um, kind of seeing these African Americans adjust their behavior according to the environment they're in to the extent that it's so extreme um, and they kind of go through that step by step even seeing um, Lewis's friend sit at that sit-in and be viciously like bullied to the point where I was almost in tears is just um, really heartbreaking and that's the moment it really got to me um, you know yeah it's a it's a decent film I just don't think I don't like how it was so forceful and um, they could have done it a little bit better but like I said Lee Daniel wants an Oscar and he's gonna get one um, so I'm gonna try to do a complete Pair and contrast discussion of this film and 12 years in a slave and there's so many other african-american based films that are coming out this year it's almost insane and we're probably gonna see for the first time um 90 percent of the male uh best actors in the running to be african-american and that's gonna be really exciting so anyways um please follow my Blogspot, Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. Alright, thanks for listening. Bye.